Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. So as you can see, today I am reviewing a new tan. I know you guys like these kind of videos. So today we're going to be reviewing the Coco and Eve Sunny Honey Barley Bronzing Foam in the shade Dark. So I'm going to do a little demo for you on how I apply it and also my final thoughts at the end. So if you do want to hear my thoughts on this tan and you want to see how it applies, then just keep on watching. So I have already showered before this video, so I just ensured that my skin was super clean and exfoliated. I used the Frank Body Original Coffee Scrub and then just any old scrub that I had. I just happened to use the Sanctuary Body Scrub. After that, I just um, moisturized my elbows and my knees anywhere that I find fake tan it clings to or any drier areas it came in this super cute kind of wash bag this is great for travel as well so you don't have to worry about your fake tan kind of coming out in your suitcase so I have already used this before because with any fake tan I do like to try it out and if I like it then I'm gonna do a video on it so this is the Coco and Eve barley bronzing foam and I got the shade dark and I also got their fake tanning mitt so as you can see I have already used it previously I used it last weekend so I'll use it um, a couple times and then you can easily just put it in the wash and then I also got the um, kabuki brush which is great for like your face hands and down the neck as well before I go ahead and show you the application, as I have used it before, I just want to kind of touch on how it kind of wore and rubbed off because I don't like tans that come off in like patches, make your skin super dry and it goes like tiger red. This is the one thing that I noticed about this tan. So I wore it last weekend and I kind of scrubbed the remainder off this morning and I did notice that there wasn't too much left on there and if there was it kind of just faded it didn't really go patchy around my hands you know like saint moritz days when it goes like tiger bread so i love these kind of mitts where they've got a little thumb there because it just makes application so much easier and also it's like a velvet so i feel like the tan goes on so much smoother so i like to do three pumps kind of per limb in circular motions and then I leave my hand free for the end which I'll show you what I do in a second. Yeah, you saw how easy that application was, it doesn't go patchy, it doesn't kind of like tug on your skin, it just goes on super smooth and it doesn't smell like biscuits, I can't go over the smell smell is just insane. Um, the same with your chest, I do kind of two and a half pumps and circular motions around the neck so i have to get josh to do my back later um but what i tend to do is do my top half um, I kind of let that dry um, and then I'll do my legs and then once I've done my legs I'll do another layer on my top half because I like to be dark but I always like to opt for the dark option rather than ultra dark just because I kind of like to adapt what kind of um, depth I want to go and I feel like sometimes ultra dark day to day I don't want it to be like too much I just want like a subtle glow whereas I feel like if you layer it up um, you can achieve the kind of ultra dark um, depth still before I do my legs I'm actually going to do my face and I don't normally put like foam body tan on my face I do have a separate one that I normally use um, but I'm just gonna try it and I really wanna try the Kabuki brush because I haven't tried it yet. So I've done my normal skincare today and I do have um, moisturizer on my face. I always like to use moisturizer on my face before tan anyway so it doesn't cling to any dry areas. If you've used tan on your face before, then you probably are aware of sometimes it can like cling to areas like it clings to blemishes and accentuate your spots and then it's harder to kind of cover up those 
blemishes, acne scars or spots. So that's why I tend to not use this kind of foam on my face. But as it is more moisturising, I just want to see what it turns out like. Um, and I'm not wearing makeup today, so I just feel like it's the perfect time to try it. I'm just going to get a little bit on the brush. Just dab it on and buff it in, in circular motions super quickly. Do it as well. I'm always scared to use stuff like this on my face in case it breaks me out. I'm really trying to be good with my skin at the moment, so let's hope it doesn't break me out, but fuck it, let's try it for the video. I'm gonna try and not get it in my hair either, so it doesn't like stain it. So I'm also gonna use that kabuki brush down the neck as well, because it does seem like the kabuki brush applies a lot more product. So that is it close up. So obviously it's hard to tell because I've just applied it. Like most tans, it obviously has a guard colour. And the guard colour is pretty... Yeah, it doesn't have like a kind of orangey tone. It's definitely more kind of like olive. Um, and it doesn't have a green tinge, which is always good news. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do a second layer and I'll come back and show you how I do the hands. I'm just going to read out some of the information on the back. So it says no streaks, no bad smells, no stress, um, a unique cellular shape formula infused with raw virgin coconut, botanicals and amino acids or amino acids, I'm not sure about that one, to hydrate and firm skin. And I'll show you what I do with my hands. So like I said, so I'll moisturise all over my hands like so, and then I'll just use whatever's left on the mitt. That way you don't get too much product on there. Just do a little claw, get into the nook and crannies, and then also in between, kind of on the sides of the fingers as well, so you get every little bit and it looks as natural as possible. And then what I'll do is actually wash my hands in about an hour or so and then that way they don't overdevelop. so that's what it looks like as i've just applied it so i wouldn't recommend doing a pump and then doing your hands same goes for your feet as well and then that way you'll just ensure you'll get a nice even tan because you've got the moisture under moisturizer under there so that just ensures that it doesn't um grab on to like dry areas so as i said i'm going to go about my day and let it develop but it is now ooh, quarter 12 so it's almost lunch time um so i am probably gonna wash it off maybe later on this evening um but i may show you tomorrow just so you can see it in natural daylight so it's the next day now i am fresh out of the shower i know i said i wasn't gonna sleep in it but i literally could not be asked i was sorting the attic out sorting packing all that kind of jazz so i could not be asked and i needed to clean my bed sheets so i thought fuck it anyways so yes this is what the tan looks like so the one thing that i noticed when i first used it is it washes off to a really nice colour. It's kind of hard to see. I feel like the natural light is washing me out. But hopefully you can kind of get the gist. Stand, stand back a little bit. And also my hands as well. My hands are not like orange. There are no patches at all. So that is definitely the trick with moisturising them. So I'm gonna moisturize now. And I love the good old Nivea. I feel like this just leaves your skin looking really glowy and really hydrated as well. So you always wanna moisturize after you tan to really lock in that tan. Because if you do get dry skin, then it kind of ends up coming off quicker. So I try to moisturize daily. So you can see how much of a glow it gives. Oh, and also I did want to mention tan on my face. So I have washed my face twice since putting it on, obviously last night and this morning. So it has um, faded quite a lot, but obviously that is going to happen when you wash your face every day. <laughs> um, but it's still left like a nice tint. 
um, and also I did notice it hasn't like clung to any of my blemishes either but I'm gonna go get ready now and I'll let you know my final thoughts so I'm ready now so this is my tan all moisturized so as you can see I feel like it looks pretty natural I feel like my hands came out really good as I said not too orange or patchy which is a bonus um so yeah I think so obviously I did kind of show you in daylight earlier but it is now dark outside which is why I'm in my usual spot with my studio lights but I'm glad you got to see it in natural daylight um but obviously I am in front of my um artificial lights now but I have made the brightness a little bit darker just so it kind of gives so i've just made it darker now that might be a bit too dark just so you can get a true representation of the the color of the tan so the first thing that i noticed when applying this tan it smells absolutely amazing like it's definitely the best smelling fake tan that i've ever used it's just very fruity very tropical and also i like how the consistency um it's quite smooth like it doesn't dry down too quick it feels really hydrating on the skin um instantly um it does feel a little bit sticky um kind of you know after you've applied it like most tans i do have tans that do dry um a lot quicker like my molly may one for example dries down super fast whereas this one it does stay a little bit sticky um a little bit after but i mean i did go about my day and I cleaned, I tidied, I just put a baggy top on. I didn't really notice it feel too sticky, um, but obviously it might feel a bit different if you were sleeping in it. Another thing that I really love is the mitt. Obviously, excuse, I've just used it, it is dirty, but I love the mitt with the little thumb because it just helps you apply the tan so much easier. I love the fact that it's this really soft velvet as well. So it, that paired with like a hydrating tan is just such a good combo because it goes on so smoothly and so quickly as well. I feel like I hardly have to work it in. So just a note that I did apply two layers of this. So as I said, I have the dark shade. So obviously if you like to go a little bit darker, then maybe you might want to opt for the ultra dark, just a really nice golden color. So yeah, I feel like in the summer it will look really nice and natural as well. So I would definitely recommend this tan if you're looking for a new one on the market. I'll leave links down below on where to get this specific one. If you want to see more fake tan reviews, then please let me know. Let me know which ones you want me to review in the comment section down below. And if there's any other products you want me to review, then please let me know. I didn't mean to do a little clap there. But that is everything from me. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you were thinking about getting this town, this town, <laughs> if you were thinking about getting this tan. But yes, thank you so much for watching and you'll see me in my next one. Bye.